What is a graphic score in music? Here are a few examples on the screen now. This is an alternative way of scoring and writing down music um, that varies from the traditional five lines scoring notation seen on the screen now. So graphic scores are used traditionally by experimental composers like Stockhausen, John Cage and lots of more avant-garde 20th century composers from after the Second World War. Now, if you look through these pictures on the screen now, we can see lots of quite differing shapes and styles being used. Often you can see composers will use almost quite cartoon-like symbols to get their um, point across. We can also see some different colours and ways of interpreting the music. Now this really is often used in a music musical type called aleatoric music, which means that it's it kind of puts the uh, uh, importance on the performer to interpret the music, meaning the performance will often be quite different depending on who performs it. In, in contrast, if you think about maybe a piece of Mozart music, the score will obviously come out sounding different depending on who plays it, but generally they're a lot more similar in the final performance when compared to these kind of more graphic scores, okay? So, how can we best represent the music in a graphic score? Now, if you think about maybe a pitch of a, of a, of a part of the music going up, you might want your graphic score to represent that by going up. Likewise, if the music goes down, you might want your graphic score to represent that as well. If the sound gets louder, you might want your symbol to get louder like this. You also then need to think about how you use colors. For instance, if it's a nice, bright, happy sound, maybe major tonality, it might want to be more of a bright color. If it's more dark, you might want it to be more of a dark color. How can we maybe uh, best represent a famous piece of music. Let's look at this piece here, also Sprach Zarathustra, a very famous piece. How can we best represent this? We've got a very, very low pitched drone playing now, and this carries on the whole time. We've got this arpeggiated trumpet. It rises. <coughs> Two large, loud. And then now we've got these timpanis getting louder. And then we've got the same again. Slightly different at the end. Instead of going down, it's going up this time. OK, so let's listen to that again. And we're going to try and sketch out those shapes using the graphics core. Obviously, your ones will be better. I'm sure you can put a lot more depth and detail into them, but this is going to be a rough idea of how I would have done it. So for that low pitch drone, I'm going to go for a black um, shape, and that carries on the whole time. It doesn't really vary in volume, so I'm going to go for it, that kind of thing. Got these chords. getting louder, and then the big crashes. Okay, so it's that kind of shape, but then re uh, repeat it again. We've got the doom, 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 doom. The timpani sounds there, haven't we? Getting louder as well. So this is really, I've only really left enough shape for the first one, but this is the kind of idea of it. So maybe we'll try and add in a different color as well. This looks a bit like scribbles really. You'll be able to make yours look a lot better. So let's listen again and follow this along and see if you agree with it so far. This is just the first one. Didn't leave enough space there, did I, for the drone? Mm -hmm. 
needs to get louder there, doesn't it? We've got a bit of a crescendo there. All right, so that is the beginning of the graphics score there. I'm sure your ones can be a lot better than that, but that's a rough kind of sketched out idea of how you can represent that piece of music using a graphics score.